Honoring your parents does not mean obeying them when they don't obey God. We should honor our parents, but when we become an adult, we should never submit to a parent who is not submitted to God, or they could cause us to disobey the Lord. Honoring sometimes means not dishonoring them publicly or on social media. If they are not treating you like Jesus would expect, then you should not obey them or give them access to you to try to control and manipulate you. Jesus said this in Matthew 10, 34 through 39. Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. So there are many who have parents who attend church regularly, but their parents are influenced by controlling demons. Many have prideful religious demons who think they are right when they're actually totally wrong, just like the Pharisees. It would be best to disconnect from their access to you so that their demons cannot influence you to disobey the Lord or hurt you continuously. If they choose to pursue getting healed and delivered and can treat you with love and respect over time, then you can open back up the communications. The same thing applies to your siblings and really anyone. Do not allow people who have evil intentions to control and manipulate you. You must obey Jesus in every way. So I have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons, and it's helping people around the world to get healed from those wounds and delivered, uh, be able to forgive those who hurt them, repent for their pride, repent for their sin, command the demons to go and change and actually be like Jesus. And that's what he expects. When we serve Jesus, we're not going to be able to have close relationships with people that don't. We might be able to minister to them, but it's really almost impossible to minister to your family uh, because they know you. It's kind of like those that discounted Jesus of who he was, you know, when he was uh, in his hometown. They, you know, they were like, oh, he's just uh, that carpenter's son. So understand, it's important for people to get healed of their wounds, to forgive from their hearts, like Jesus said, Matthew 18, 21 through 35. And then they can get delivered from their demonic spirits, and then they will treat you the way that they should. So if you choose to serve Jesus and they uh, act like they are, but they're not really, and you can see it you know, from how they treat you, then you may need to separate. Separate from them and step away and put some protective barriers, some boundaries between you and them. So I have a book, again, Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's available on Amazon in paperback, Kindle, and Audible. Um, and you can... Um, of course, download that on Kindle or, or listen to the Audible. Um, and then I've also got uh, a website where people, you can request a personal session of healing and deliverance. If you're interested in me taking you through where you can get your wounds healed, get delivered, then go out to the website, Restored to Freedom. Uh, that's T-O, RestoredToFreedom.com. Click on Contact Me and submit the form, or you can call 317-459-7091. Thanks.